Mariah Mitchell came to campus this fall, ready to start Duke just like any other freshman. She was excited to learn, make new friends, and live on her own for the first time. But she's not your typical Duke student. She's a strong-willed young woman with infectious tenacity. Facing adversity throughout her life, she is a living example of her mother's quote, with determination, anything is possible. Maria is known for her huge heart. Like she says herself, she can be friends with anyone and everyone. When you talk to her, you can instantly sense her kindness and charisma. But what isn't as immediately obvious is her incredible drive and willpower. Almost every morning, she heads over to the Morris Williams track for three hours of track and field practice. A rather obscure sport, Maria excels in hammer throwing. It's literally a heavy ball on the end of a wire. You wind it, and then you do tight turns with your feet, heel toe turns. And so I do one toe turn, and then three heel toe turns, and then I release it. Maria believes that she's improved a lot in her throwing just in these few months that she's been a Duke student. I've been improving a lot with my throwing for track and field, so I'm just excited to see how I can progress athletically. To Maria, being a part of the track team isn't just about getting exercise. Being on the team has helped me a lot with my management because I know that I have to get enough work done like the day prior before I have practice the next morning. I think being on the track and field team has provided a sense of community, kind of like I think people in like focus clusters have. Mm -hmm. So I'm living with the freshmen and sophomores on the track and field team. While she's exhausted after a long practice, track and field is only the beginning of the day for Maria. After a little break and some hydration, she heads over to the bus stop for her first class of the day, which is in person. After class, she heads on over to her dorm to work on homework in between classes. She hides it well, but school can definitely stress her out. A busy woman with a jam-packed schedule, she has little time for socializing. So once she's done with all of her classes and homework, she always makes sure to take advantage of the little free time she does have by spending it with her best friends. Any moment spent with Maria is destined for lots of smiles and joy. You simply cannot spend five minutes with her without bursting into laughter. Even with the busy student-athlete schedule, Maria still finds time every day to relax and pray. Her Christian spirituality has always been something very important to her. While it is certainly different on Zoom, Maria still has found a way to share her love of God with others by watching the Zoom worship in a common room with friends. Some Sunday nights after worship, Maria and her friend Branch head over to the Cohen Music Rooms to sing together. Maria has made a special effort to get to know more people who aren't involved with Duke Athletics. I've also immersed myself in other communities and like I feel like I've gone the extra mile like putting myself out there to meet new people who like aren't on the track and field team, um, such as like I joined an acapella group. The all-female a cappella group that Maria is a part of rehearses together every Sunday on East Campus. Here is a clip of one of the pieces they are currently working on called Mary Did You Know that they will be performing soon via Zoom. Maria's powerful and stunning voice, accompanied by her impressive piano playing skills, prove that she is not only a gifted athlete, but also a talented musician. But despite all of her passions and talents, Maria faces the daily hardships that come with being biracial. Being both black and white, I often feel that I don't fully belong in either the white or black communities. However, due to my close relationship with my white mother and having grown up in predominantly white spaces, I know and better understand white culture. Sometimes the black part of my racial background is accentuated, whereas other times the white part of me is highlighted, which often makes it difficult for me to feel accepted for my whole self. 
However, at the end of the day, I focus on getting to know people for who they are and not what makes them up racially, because I know it's what's on the inside that matters the most. Maria has grown to love the courageous and empowering young woman that she's become, and she is a role model to everyone. I have learned so much from her just in the few months that we have known each other, and I will only continue to become a better person because of our friendship. Maria is a student, an athlete, a musician, a Christian, and a wonderful friend. She inspires me every day with her devotion to everything she does and her compassion and warmth towards everyone she meets. Clearly, she is no ordinary Duke student. She is an exceptional one.